Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Single Mother After Abuse. If you are new here once again welcome and let's dive in. I want to start off by saying I had an extremely hard time in court against the narcissist. As most of you already know from my previous videos, I share a child with the narcissist and he took out a child arrangement order stating that I was stopping him from seeing his child. We all know that that was a lie, like Maury would say, because after giving birth, I was driving an hour to his mother's house for them both to have contact each week. I had a non-molestation order at the time, which is a restraining order in the US, and I didn't want him to miss out on quality time. I later found out that he was in fact not seeing our daughter, and his mother was lying for him, stating to me that he was coming to see her, but he wasn't. Guess what? He had new supply at the time, jetting all over the country. So, in order to make themselves feel better, they tell the lie, she's stopping me from seeing my child to the court, and the UK court here somehow believed him and made me pay half the contact centre despite me being unemployed at the time. It was a joke. However, putting all that to the side, there were several things I noticed along the way that eventually made me have peace at the end of all the court hearings and it was this. Number one. As hard as it is to hear the narcissist's voice, you literally have to zone out and accept that the narcissist will say some horrible things about you. They will manipulate the courtroom and shout and scream, but you have to let them show themselves. They hate authority and shout at the judge. And trust me when I say this, they shout at the judge. <laughs> the narcissist I was dealing with could not hold down his rage and he won't stick to the court order. The narcissist will call you names under his breath like mine did and bring his family into the waiting area to make it look like he is the family man. When he re-enters the courtroom, he will state that his family is in the waiting area. You know, this is just all part of their tactics. They want to make themselves look good, but you have to stay calm. Think of it like a business transaction where you have to remain professional at all times. Make the judge see that you are not the person that the narcissist portrays at all. The person you are dealing with is a liar who loves to play victim and in your responses do not put any emotion into it. Ask if you can read a letter to the judge. I did this. The narcissist will laugh at you in court while you read it out loud but that's okay. The letter is not for him. The letter is to focus on the best interests of your child. Do not focus on lies, he tells, because that will give the lie credibility. You know the truth and that's all that matters. Number two, get a lawyer or a firm that understands abuse because 10 times out of 10, they will see right through the narcissist. If you have legal aid like I did, make sure you ask whether they understand narcissism and don't be afraid to ask questions. This is your child's life. This is your life in the law's hand. Find out what experience the firm has and document everything. Most of the time, the narc will start off with having a paid lawyer, but then quickly realise that lawyers are expensive and then he'll represent himself. Most of the time, the narcissist will think they are smarter than the lawyer anyway, and they will just go up and smoke. Number three, attend each hearing, because believe me, the narcissist will miss at least one hearing and this will go in your favour. This will be your opportunity to be seen in a positive light. If you have a judge that is not willing to proceed without the other party, that's okay. You turned up and it is documented. Your lawyer can bring up the fact that he missed the hearing without good reason. Number four, focus on getting the deal done with a little negotiation as hard as it is and get the hell out of that courtroom in a peaceful manner. If you are adamant about certain things, you know, relating to the child, make sure you are ready to be cross-examined. Do not meet the narcissist after court and between hearings. I did this, my mistake, would never ever ever do that again. The narcissist cornered me plenty of times to want to negotiate certain things, especially when the new supply is present. This is why you need to subscribe to my channel because my next video is why the narcissist plays nice games when the new supply is present. The narcissist will act like he only cares about the child, but it's a facade. Keep it factual with evidence and within the courtroom and stay out of drama. As the court doesn't, they don't care about he say, she say. Even if you state abuse, 
they don't care unfortunately for me i was trying to prove the kind of character he is you know abusive emotionally and physically but you have to put all that to the side and have documented proof of him being wishy-washy with your child if he hasn't attended parents evening or he's missed contact or there's no room for your child to sleep at his house you know this is great it's all related to the child mention it also request to sit away from the narcissist and his family in the waiting area number five get support for your child having an alley or a report to potentially testify will help prove your point the right support can help your child deal with feelings and it can help save and win custody do your research and get referrals interview potential therapists and give them a heads up about the high conflict nature make sure this person will be an ally and an asset for your child when you can't advocate for your child's safety and needs a good therapist can and they will on the back of that also spend time on making your child happy pursue their skills and show them that you love them with just small gifts you know now and again today when picking up my daughter i bought her favorite takeaway to the school i left it in the car and when she opened the car door she smelled it and she knew instantly that when we got home we was going to have yummy food and have a night in it's all about creating a happy childhood believe me your child will know you are the parent that was non-conflict children see everything the narcissist cannot sabotage happy moments with your child number six make sure to document extended invitations that include public events parents evenings etc that you invited the narcissist to via email if he doesn't show up it's in your favor you can use that against him in court number seven now this is last but never least the power of prayer i am roman catholic so i pray if you are not religious that's okay you can still light a candle and make a wish over that candle and speak it into existence thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one